Hey everyone, what's up? It's Lauren Carr with Just Vegan and where in each episode we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle and I'm sure as you could tell, I got a little sun on my face. Oh yes, I will be doing a vegan travel vlog in St. Lucia. So we are going to be exploring the north of St. Lucia in this episode. We'll look at some vegan friendly places, look at some amazing views and in another episode I will be looking at Soufriere which is in the south. So please make sure you watch and if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe because you do not want to be missing out on these vegan traveling good times. I am here at the stunning Marigot Bay. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm so sorry, my French is not that good. I took Spanish in high school. <laughs> but I am here enjoying the view. Basically, this is known as the Caribbean's most beautiful bay, and I think you could definitely see why. But let's get into some fun facts about this place. So, it is known as a hurricane haven. Also, throughout the years, and obviously not a lot of this is happening now, there was a lot of piracy that went on in this bay. And this bay also was the scene of the crime of the last fight between the French and the British. So, a few fun facts for you all, but mainly, we are here to relax and enjoy these views. All right, so I'm at Doolittle's Bar and Restaurant, and it is such a find here in Market Bay. Oh my gosh, first off, the view is stunning. And secondly, because you know I love to eat, they have a great vegetarian vegan menu. So I went for the soya chunk Creole stew, I'll call it that. We got some fries and my partner got the vegetable roti. Everything was phenomenal, so good. And let me tell you, I'm gonna mention it again. The view is stunning, stunning, stunning. So other things to know, they have a free water taxi to get you here. Oh yeah, arriving in style. And they have two for one cocktails from five to seven every day. So this sounds like a win, 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 win. Masala Bay, one of my favorite restaurants we ate on the trip. It is a mixture of Indian and Hakka cuisine, so many good vegan options, great view of the bay, and super interesting food combinations. Definitely try it. I'm just gonna say, I cannot wait to stuff some of this in my face. All right, so I have to boast a little bit and also recommend where we're staying here. We are at the Mango Beach Inn, which they try to be quite eco-friendly here. What I found was really cool, and I didn't know a lot about this, they have these mosquito ponds. So instead of using any kind of pesticides to prevent you know, mosquitoes from biting you, they have these ponds around that there's certain fish in the pond that I guess attract mosquitoes and eat them. So that's really good. They try to be quite sustainable with the water supply here. and a lot of the fruits and stuff well all the fruits for breakfast are grown here locally and so let me tell you they have like so many good mangoes hence the name of the hotel and pineapples bananas passion fruit oh my gosh the breakfast is wonderful and if you are a vegan just let them know that maybe you'd want almond milk for the cereals and boom you are set another few things first of all the view here is simply stunning you're a little bit secluded so you're across the bay they also have a lot of nice hikes you can do there's this one hike which i would say you definitely should be in kind of good shape for because it is quite uphill but the views from up there are simply stunning there's only three rooms here so definitely book in advance but it's great because it has that nice quiet feel it's family run and the people that run it are super super warm and friendly and they have three cats and two dogs who i love as you know i'm definitely obsessed with dogs and animals so it's kind of nice to have them around there's a private pool here here. And once again, I just have to keep mentioning the views, the views, the views. And it's also like a two minute walk to the beach. So really, you just can't beat this place. Anyway, I would highly, highly recommend it. <sighs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to, of course, be here in St. Lucia, but secondly, to be on this awesome party catamaran going from Margate Bay to the very iconic Pizzas. What? So what I think we got to do now, we got to sit back, enjoy the ride, enjoy those views, and of course, have a rum punch or two. The Pizzas. So we are here at Pigeon Island, which I am actually right now on top of the Rodney Fort, which was built in 1778 and 
basically kind of fought over a lot by the French and the British, but I think the British kind of, well, let's be honest, in the end, they did have it since they ended up winning the war. But you can see why this was such a fort to be fought over because water is surrounding it. So for us, that equals beautiful views. So still here walking around Pigeon Island, checking everything out. And right here, these are the ruins of British army barracks and basically it held about 60 soldiers now let's be honest hey it is amazing and awesome and so fun and relaxing for you and I to come here to the Caribbean but when these soldiers were fighting under these conditions with these tropical conditions believe it or not they were still wearing their like long sleeve British Army outfits Ugh. hey eventually they did change and get into kind of shorter sleeves but for a while things were hot 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 so a little side note or two, <laughs> I would definitely, definitely recommend to bring shoes, sneakers, because I am wearing flip-flops and to get to Fort Rodney, there is a little bit of a hike. There's also another wonderful viewpoint that I don't want you guys to miss out on, like I kind of did just because I was like, I can't really walk up those right now and come down in flip-flops. But Pigeon Island, an area not to miss. The views, the views, the views. I keep saying it about St. Lucia, but here the views are outstanding. You will definitely want to come and of course you'll want to learn about the history here, about it being a British base and all of that. So please make sure you don't miss it and bring your sneakers. All right, so I'm in the Castries and I am walking down the street and of course, what do I find? a vegan cafe it is called the three angels cafe and it's kind of just right off the main road like not far from where i guess some of the cruise ships might talk to come in anyway really really excited obviously and i'm having christophine which is i guess something that they grow locally here it looks super delicious and good and it looks big i'm getting like rice some bean salad the christophine on top oh my gosh i cannot wait to dig in anyway definitely a spot that you will all have to check out and they're open Monday through Friday so I am here with the beautiful ladies of the three angels cafe vegan. so we have Clara and Natalie so ladies I have to ask what would you say gives you your biggest vegan food orgasm from this cafe oh my there is some Dish is called well a protein that we share here. We still here. Yeah. It's called the uh, uh, ginger chicken. Okay. It is to die. For. You should try it. But it's I, not chicken. It's, it's not chicken. No, no it is. So, it is. So, so. And what's your favorite? I guess the ginger chicken is the way to go. And these ladies are phenomenal, amazing. And this cafe, I just ate the. It was incredible. No, I mean, I've not had anything like it, and I know it's grown here locally. And it's just something if you're visiting maybe from the UK or US, I would say you have to come here and try it. Basically, you have to come here and try everything. Oh, yes. Breakfast and lunch yes. are the big times. Yes. What time would lunch be? Just about between 2 and 3 and Okay, perfect. Yeah. All I have to say is you all better be coming. Oh, yes. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed exploring the north of St. Lucia with me, and we have more vegan adventures heading to, what? The South Soufriere area. So I expect to see you guys next week, and I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Boom! To just vegan in.